Hello, today I've got email from Motorola that they released a new firmware update for the Motorola Ion Radio. I checked the PDF for most important changes and the quite interesting is point two, which is a PTT emergency and channel knob API support and looks like they will allow a third party application to use the hardware PTT key and the emergency key. So that is going to open possibility at some point in time that the Zello is going to get a native support for the push to talk. That looks like it's going to be paid feature because you have to obtain license, but that is going to be up to the developer. I don't think that's going to be for a single user, most likely for the company like Zello. But I would like to show you process how to update firmware on the Motorola Ion, because this is a great point that you can see how the Radio Central works. For updating firmware and doing configuration, you do not use the side port. Those radio are being programmed via the cloud and the configuration is going to be uploaded OTA over the air. This is how it's being called. And you are going to feed the configuration via LTE or via the Wi-Fi. No cable required. You don't have to need radio near to you. Radio can be in field and you can deploy the configuration for your worker that is going to be completely separated from your computer and the console. I've got my radio being on. We've got the LTE is connected to the internet. I'm going to open application called Radio Central Commercial Client. And this is a PC software that is going to be interacting with a Motorola cloud. You need to provide your username and password for the Motorola cloud. And after a couple moments, you are going to see a list of your radio that I are tied to that account. Here you can see a list of all your radios. You can filter that by fields if you've got more than one. And this is the one that I'm interested at. If you slide that slider to the right, you are going to see column saying firmware version and it is revision 0.2.00. I'm going to right click our radio and select upgrade firmware. And as you can see, we are going to load a firmware version revision 02.10. So it is higher the one that we've got already. And you are going to hit OK. That operation is not yet started. It's being added to task. And as you can see, you've got an upgrade firmware 0.1 running. On the task tab, we've got our upgrade firmware perform. We hit on that red clock and we are going to hit force immediately update. And yes, we are going to accept it and the end device is going to be restarted. Let me unlock the screen. I'm going to put upgrade firmware and I'm going to hit OK. And we should observe that our Motorola Moto Turbo is going to download the firmware and it should restart by itself. I can see that we've got some traffic on the LTE. I can see the icon with the traffic, so it definitely loading the firmware and you can see we've got a progress bar, we've got the downloading update with the instruction not to shut down the device and you will see how beautiful this process works because that device can be at someone's home or at someone's belt. 
and you can make a adjustment which is absolutely great if you've got people deployed in field and you need to give them access to a different frequency you can do that from your computer and they in field they will have a change applied absolutely great looks like the firmware update is extremely beefy we pull almost one gigabyte of data so far and it's still downloading we downloaded over 1.4 gigabyte it is a pretty beefy update we've got 1.87 gigabytes used and we're still pulling our firmware update looks like it's being installing definitely the operating system need to be restarted and the firmware update has completed we've got the restarting it came suddenly without any notification that's because we make a check mark to do that without a warning and question to the user On top screen we've got a programming mode and it installing a new firmware. It's restarting and we are going to get a great success. And looks like the firmware update has been completed. We've got the finishing system update. Looks like it puts. And we've got a great success. So, this is how you are doing a firmware update on the Motorola Ion via the Radio Central. You can close it down and you are good to go.